My name's Ian McMillan, and as part of Radio 3's Dylan Thomas Day, I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the places in London that Dylan Thomas loved and that loved him back. And we're going to start here at Broadcasting House. Dylan Thomas did a lot of work for the BBC. He wrote poems, he read poems, he wrote plays, he did talks on any kind of subject. And the BBC cemented his reputation as a writer and a performer and a voice for hire. And that's what he really became when he worked for the BBC, a memorable voice. So, this is where he used to work. Let's go to where he used to play and do a bit of work. Here we are at the Fitzroy Tavern in the heart of London's Fitzrovia and Dylan Thomas really loved this place. And there's a kind of myth about Thomas that all he liked about pubs was the drinking, but what he really liked, I think, was the drinking and the talking and the thinking and the writing. This is the Writers and Artists Bar downstairs at the Fitzroy Tavern. Halfway up the stairs, there's a sign that says the rendezvous of the world. And this part of London's always been that for bohemian types. Karl Marx would have walked past here and Virginia Woolf. And Dylan Thomas loved it here. You got to imagine it being a bit smokier than this and a bit louder. And Dylan Thomas is sitting here talking. And over there, there might be Augustus John behind him, Prince Monolulu, the betting expert, Albert Pierpoint, the hangman was over here, and lots of poets and writers and artists, and lots and lots of talk. I think if you stand and listen, you can still hear it hanging in the air. There'd be women here too, like Betty May, the tiger lady, and Nina Hamnett, artist and artist model. And what Dylan Thomas also liked was that many years before, people like Rambo and Verlaine, the great French poets, had wandered round here. And Dylan Thomas used to style himself three adjectives a penny, belly churning Thomas, the Rambo of Cundonkin Drive. What a great man. Just a few hundred yards from the Fitzroy Tavern is the Wheat Sheaf, where Dylan Thomas met the love of his life. And I don't mean extravagant metaphor. Dylan Thomas met Caitlin McNamara in here. And at the time he met her, he declared it was love at first sight. She was with Augustus John, but it didn't seem to bother him. He spent the whole of the first evening laid in her lap, gazing up into her eyes and saying that one day he'd marry her. And they went off and had six nights of passion in a nearby hotel and allegedly charged it all to Augustus John. And they really were a long-term relationship. She was his muse, his lover, his friend, his wife, and really, I think, the fountainhead of much of his poetry. And there are so many stories around here about Dylan Thomas. There's a tale that he allegedly left the manuscript of Undermilk Wood under a stool somewhere near here. And I've spent many happy hours trying to find that manuscript, trying to find that stool. And that's the great thing about Fitzrovia for a poet. It feels like the kind of place where poets should be, where poets should listen, where poets should talk. So, do you know what? I think I'll stay here. I think I'll stay here for a while. I'll let poems fall on me like leaves from trees. Now that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. 